I watched School Spirits. We had talked about it. Yeah, we had talked about it before. Ghosts had come up, both the show Ghosts, which I love, and then we were talking about something else about Ghosts, and then we were like, what is this other thing, School Spirits? Well, I've watched it. It's very enjoyable. It is teenagers, so I don't know. Uh. Uh, it, it, it's more of like a thriller than just like teenage angsty stuff. Yes, I could handle So it. we've got Peyton List, who plays the main character, Maddie. Oh, nice, from Cobra Kai. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's her. And she is recently dead. She died on the premises of the high school and discovers that there are a whole bunch of other ghosts there. Oh, died in the show. Died yeah, in the yeah. show. Oh, okay. Well, right. I mean, oh, we, were unclear. you confused that she died in real life? I <laughs> yes, think that would be a big very no. Sad. Stop it. Stop it. Oh, that's back to my tar, Lydia Tar. <laughs> <laughs> so this character Maddie has died and she died on the school premises so now her ghost is on the school premises and she is getting to meet all of the other ghosts of people who have died at the school. This apparently this school has had a lot of deaths. I mean there were there were quite a number of ghosts. Is it in Sun Valley? It was like the school that Buffy went to? I mean <laughs> it seems a little I was trying to think I'm like the high school that I went to which was not very big. I can't think of one person who died on the campus, much less, oh. you know, I mean, well, so anyway. Good cover-ups by your principals, so. No, that could, that'd be I mean, shocking. <laughs> that could be it. Okay, so she is confused first because she's dead, but mostly because she doesn't know how she died. She has kind of like a memory block of like, which is not, a, according to the other ghosts, typical. Usually they know what happened to them mm. and they're able to like understand that they are dead and why they are ghosts and all of that. But she is a real mystery. So some of the other ghosts try to help her. And one of the funnest characters is this character, Wally. Oh my gosh, he is a delight. He plays an 80s football player. So he died during a football game in the <laughs> 80s. It's played by an actor named Milo Mannheim. And he is so great. I love him. So his character, Wally, is very helpful. He is described at one point as part model part golden retriever and that does kind of he's very very handsome and he really is adorable and sweet and a great character anyway so he fetches like nobody's business (laughs) so he's trying to help her and then there's a teacher who died on the premises who's kind of running a support group who's very amusing and his name is mr martin and that's played by josh zuckerman And then the wrinkle in all of this is none of these ghosts, there's probably six or seven ghosts that she's dealing with in this support group, and then a bunch of other ghosts, like a whole group from a band accident, like a bus accident with the band members, and a whole bunch of them died, so they're just there around. And students are still attending the school currently, which is outrageous. But the thing is... I would have pulled my child out of school at this point. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like most schools don't have a record of this many deaths on the campus. This is a real 92% graduation rate. Why 92? 92% of the students were alive. Yeah. The rest of them died here. So the wrinkle for her is one that she can't remember. And then second, she actually can interact with her living friend, this guy named Uh, Simon, which is really unusual. And all the other ghosts at first don't know about it and then when they little by little start to figure it out only a few of them at first they're like what the f because this is not normal for a ghost you're not supposed to have any interaction with the living world that many students that many years in a row from however long ago this football player was there's never been a medium in all those students we finally get a medium this is amazing yeah they have never had anyone do this before so she's a real interesting case And the actor that plays her friend, Kristen Flores, he's great. Really, really good. Okay, so anyway, I don't want to give too many spoilers because I've already told you a lot about it, but it's a fun thriller. So there you go.